Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I wanted to share with you guys a little bit more about myself and um, in case you guys are new to my channel, um, I am making videos every week and I wanted to share with you guys a little bit more about me and my faith and so I wanted to do the Christian tag. I saw a few different ones so I just chose a few questions um, just because I don't want this video to be way too long. I didn't choose all of them. The first question is what is your testimony and for me um basically i became christian when i was around 16. i was in high school and it actually occurred to me um well when i actually accepted god into my heart was actually in this very room i was listening to a song from stellar cart it's like a rock band but obviously they're Christian and that was the first time I had ever really heard like really listened to Christian music and during that time I was really into rock music so I was going through this music and I guess the music just started to minister to me because I just started I don't know I started to open up really like in a way that I hadn't experienced before and in that moment I just accepted God and I was like feeling like happy because I was for a long time dealing with a lot of anger issues with a lot of like depression issues and I was just not a very happy person even though I try to portray that on the outside but on the inside I wasn't I come from a family where um my dad was an alcoholic and my mom did her best job to try to like overcome everything else um she was our mother and father for a long time and I do have two other brothers, two other sisters, and I'm the oldest one, so there was always a lot of pressure put on me since I was the first one. I was the first one to graduate from high school and go off to college, so there was a lot going on with me, and I didn't know exactly how to process all those all that like emotion, so um, I did have a friend who was Christian, and he kind of introduced God to me and kind of like planted the seed and everything else just took on from there. I did my research. I started to wonder about the Catholic Church. We come from a Catholic family, but we didn't really go to church, so I didn't really care, but I was in the process of doing my confirmation, and that's when I came to my mom, and I was like, you know what? I don't think the Catholic Church is for me. I don't feel anything. I tried for months. I tried going to church every single, like, Tuesday or something that I would get out of um, school early. I would go to church and pray and be like, give me a sign. And then was never really getting it. And then I decided to switch. It wasn't easy. My family didn't support me. I was first one to convert in my family. And before all of that, I was starting to, in middle school, I started to mess around with witchcraft. And that took me towards another different complete path. And I think because of that, it kind of made it difficult to pull away from all of that. And when I accepted God into my heart, it kind of came with its own new challenges, which I guess I could talk about later on in another video. But um, yeah, that's basically what happened. I was really tired of life and I was being a little bit more of like, I was being more suicidal when I was in my teens. Everything's more dramatic. Everything seems like the end of the world. And my dad was really an alcoholic. So that part of my life was really depressing and I just I was done I was like God you're not doing anything and so it just it took a toll and I was like I'm done I'm done with life I'm done with everything that's it and so I remember praying I remember one night I prayed so bad I was like you know what like I want you to like kill him I want you to do something like take him away from our life and I remember the day that the next day it actually happened I remember feeling guilty because I was like all this time I wanted him to I wished I wished the worst on my dad and I think that kind of I carried on for a lot of years after that because after that day that they took my dad away they arrested him um I kind of carried that with me and it affected me because I didn't it didn't have like a very I don't know sympathetic I don't know it was very confusing during those teenage years and so basically what happened they took him away I didn't see my dad for like years and then eventually I forgave him I came to the I came to God he healed me he made me see things differently and I forgave him but I always wanted to say it to his face and let him know that I didn't hate him and so I did get the chance to see my dad once again 
um, a few years ago we found him and we 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 talked we worked it out and now we have a better relationship we hang out he sees my daughter um so things got a lot better but things got a lot worse before that so and it, I have to give it all to God because without him I'm pretty sure I would have ended up going through my suicidal plan and he kind of just took over and he changed my entire life so question number two is what is your favorite Bible verse and for me it's found in Romans 8 38 through 39 and that one it says for I am convinced that neither death nor life neither angels nor demons neither the present nor the future nor any powers neither height nor depth nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in the Christ Jesus our Lord so for me I love that verse because it kind of helps me as a reminder of just like there's nothing in the world nothing at all that can ever separate me from the love that god has towards me and the love that i have towards him and especially i feel like sometimes as humans we feel guilty or we might feel not worthy and we're not we're not worthy of any of his blessings or anything that he gives us except that he does it because he's merciful and it's his grace it's all his grace so for me, I think I love this verse because it reminds me of that. Sometimes I do feel not worthy. I feel very down. And so I love reading this verse because it reminds me of just how much Jesus, just how much God just loves me and how much he has cared for me all this time. Question number three, what denomination are you from? So, or if any, so I am part of a denomination. Um, I'm part of Church of God and our home home offices are actually in Tennessee so Church of God there's a whole faith declaration of what we believe but we believe that Jesus is God's son um, that God's in three in three parts basically the son the father and the Holy Spirit the father the son and the Holy Spirit um, we believe that the Bible was uh, inspired by God but written by men um, and all these other stuff I don't remember all of them because I haven't memorized them but I do belong to the Church of God and I've I did attend to a non-denominational one before I started going to Church of God but then I did find um, my ex-boyfriend was from Church of God and that's just the church I ended up going to and I agreed with all their their what's called their declaration of faith so everything that was listed I agreed on and I accepted it and so then after we broke up I still went to that church but then I got married and so my husband also goes to a church of God it was just a different one in the same district so then I just moved church but I'm still part of the same denomination and I think it's pretty good I also have gone to assemblies of God also pretty much we're almost the same thing there are a few differences but for the most part I mean as long as we're all in the same line I kind of don't mind um, but once it kind of gets off too too much with other stuff then I'm like I don't know I don't know about that but for me myself and my family we're part of Church of God okay next question what is my favorite Christian song my favorite Christian song it's pretty hard right now I'm really into Spanish music right now and it's more like reggaeton so <laughs> I really I know some people don't like more conservative Christians don't agree with that type of genre but I'm somewhere in the middle I think there's some liberals that are I, I feel for myself and my own like what's it called my own faith I feel like there's certain boundaries and I just feel like some people don't think that um secular music is there's anything wrong with listening to it I think there is um and some people are fine just listening to secular music going to concerts and doing all that st stuff but for me I just it doesn't feel right in my heart so for me I try to stay away from it um because they don't always have a good message and I think it's all about the message some songs are just about love and that's fine but a lot of the secular music it depends on which ones you're listening to but a lot of it on the radio they're all I don't know insulting women in a way and it's all about like 
breaking God's laws, basically. Like, they're not married and they're having sex and they're calling women the B word or talking about drugs, killing people, shooting. And it's just like a bunch of bad words in there. So I just don't like that type of music and I try to stay away from it because it does nothing to me and my spirit. So I don't like it, but for me, I do like reggaeton. So I try to stick to that genre and I listen to J. Khalil, um, Alex Zurdo, um, what's that other, Andy something. I'm gonna put a few songs down there if you're curious to listen to them, but I really like them. So next question is, am I baptized? And the answer is yes, I am baptized. I got baptized at my other church uh, a few years ago. I've actually gotten baptized like six years ago, I think. I have the pictures, I'll insert them somewhere around here. Um, we, I got baptized at Cabrillo Beach and the water was really cold, I remember that day. I was wearing pants and clothes and everything and then dunked me, but the water still really cold I don't get that water it's always really freezing um so yeah I was a little nervous about the whole dunking but I mean it wasn't bad they were holding me so it was fine so I remember that day it was a good day um a lot of people got bapt baptized that night that day and then um I was really happy with the choice that I made I knew that was the right choice for me and we had like a picnic afterwards we were grilling meat and burgers and all that stuff so it was a really fun day next question which book is your favorite from the bible I have two favorite ones my favorite first book was Romans that's the book that really helped me align myself because it was when I was going through the transition of leaving the worldly things and leaving witchcraft leaving the music leaving things that weren't good for me but it was really hard to leave so for me romans really helped me in that way understand like his his i guess rules in a way um because i knew it, he wanted the best for me so it wasn't like i had to like do all these things because like that's what the church was forcing me to do or something like that it was more like um on my own i wanted to do what pleased god and i wanted to feel like because it starts feeling wrong when you're in the, in the in the path of god when you're not doing something right like the holy spirit lets you know you're doing something wrong even though you might not know what it is exactly you feel that inner thing kind of like bothering you and you're like there's just something not right so I knew that I needed to leave certain things it was just really hard and even if when I did do them it was kind of like it, it didn't feel the same because I felt some kind of guilt and so um I don't know Romans really helped me understand certain things and that's kind of what I needed during that time and then Hope um I actually enjoyed that one a few years later when I was struggling with some personal relationship problems and so and then that kind of overflowed to my own personal problems and then if you don't know the story of Hope he was a perfectly good example of what you're supposed to be doing to please God he was perfectly um, he wasn't perfect he was um, good at just working hard and doing things right and then the devil was like well he only worships you because you have you bless him you give him everything like basically telling him he was spoiled or something and so um he's like fine no he doesn't but and then they kind of do like this little weird agreement that he can go and take everything away from him and he does he takes his family his money everything he takes it all away he gives him his he takes away his health everything and he still worships him to a certain point and then he kind of just breaks down and he's like what the heck like i was doing everything right and so for me i was like in a position where i was kind of um what's it called reclamandole um like I wasn't why well, I was whining a little bit um and I was like why god why like how can you do this to me or I was being a whiner and so I felt like he used when I was reading the Bible I really remember that one day where I read a verse and it kind of tells me like I'm the god of everything basically who are you to tell me to tell me anything and so I was like I felt like I saw God like this and I was just this tiny little human and so then I feel like oh my gosh like you're right like what the heck what's wrong with me and so 
I don't know. I felt like hope, the book of hope, God used to speak to me in a diff, in a different way, in a little bit more of a harsher way. But I needed that because it was like a, he was molding me. So I think God always knows what level we're in. And so he sometimes kicks it up a notch. And I feel like that time I was just like, oh, snap. Like he was being my father and he was disciplining me. So I saw it. And I understood it and I took it in. So I really like those two books of the Bible. Okay, so last question because I think this video is getting pretty long. Um, last question is, what do you like best about your church? Um, for me, my other church was really good. We had, I liked the, the place we had. I liked the impact we had on our community. I think it was great. And I really enjoyed working with the kids. So, but what I liked about my church now, the one I'm tending to, um, I like our pastor. I like how he gives the word and I like, I don't know, the both churches, like every church has their own atmosphere and their own groove and their own mission. So I think if I wouldn't have agreed with the mission of that church or like the environment, I would have had a problem, but I didn't really have a problem. I liked how everything was structured. I liked the people and the kids, obviously. Um, there are a little bit less like it's, I felt like it was a smaller church in a way but it's pretty big as well now so kind of balances out I really like our church um I wish it was a little bit more um active in reaching out to the community which is something I'm working on right now with the kids ministry but besides that I really enjoy our church our church is more basically on um, more based on what's it called a Hispanic community so it's in, our services are in Spanish for the most part sometimes they're bilingual um but they're very tech savvy too um they they post their preaches and services on online and so their their missions are also very important uh they serve more of el salvador so i i also really like that, that they're always trying to help others from outside the united states and yeah that's pretty much it i'm hoping that you guys kind of learned a little bit more about me if you guys have had any other questions just comment down below and maybe i can make a different video with more of the questions from the tag that way you guys get to know me more i'll see you guys later bye